Okay, good people. Our note cards here. All right, this is note card number five. This is note card number five. We're doing linear equations today. So we're going to put linear equations. I should have did this one first. I just forgot. I skipped this card by accident. <laughs> linear equations are equations that graph straight lines. They have constant rates of change. They can be written in many forms. talked about we've already talked about many of those forms three basic forms that a linear equation can be written in I'm gonna pause with a cause to give you a chance to do that and we're gonna write the three different forms that we've talked about thus far on the back we also need to include that they are arithmetic sequences I'm sorry That means you add or subtract to get to the next number. Arithmetic sequence is when you add or subtract to get the next number. All right, on the back, Three forms, if you can remember, that we we um, did the first one. We got slope-intercept form. Slope-intercept form is y equals mx plus b. Remember that. What does the m stand for? Slope. The slope. Or rate of change. Or rate of change. And what's the b? Um, the y-intercept. The y-intercept. Good job, babe. Good job, sweetie. Shh, hush, please. We have the standard form. The standard form for linear equations. Does anybody remember the standard form for linear equations? Yeah. AX plus BY equals what? C. C. Okay, A, B, and C are all numbers. But this first number right here cannot be what? Negative. Negative. Can't be a negative, a decimal, or a what? Fraction. Or a fraction. Okay. And then we did point slope form. Point slope form has got y minus what? Y1, y1 equals m, m parentheses. X minus X1. Very good. Okay. In this form, what does the y1 stand for? The y coordinate. The y -coordinate. Again, what does the m stand for? Slope. The slope. Good job. And what does the X1 stand for? X the X coordinate. Any questions about that? Okay, I'm going to pause for the calls. <laughs> 